Today we are going to show you how to prune your peppers. So your peppers are not really supposed to be bushy like that, like this. So all of this growth here is actually wasting energy. And then in the end you end up with very small clustered uh, fruits which do not really grow to their full potential. So what we're going to first do is remove the lower leaves. So what we have here is our first fruit. So under normal conditions, you are supposed to remove this fruit while it's still a flower because it actually appears in the very early stage of the plant while the plant still needs most of its energy for the root development. So you are supposed to remove this while it's still a flower before it gets to this stage. But uh, for this video, because it's already too big, we'll still remove it uh, even though it's uh, at this size. You do not really need this fruit because it actually takes too much energy from the plant while it's still developing. So what we have here, wherever the fruit starts to grow, uh, your plant always branches. So everywhere where there's a fruit, the plant actually branches into multiple branches. And of all these branches, you actually need to keep two main branches. So if you look here, we have three branches, so which means we have to remove one. So we look at the most uh, feathers are part of these three branches. And if you look from this side, you can see that uh, the spacing here is actually shorter than the spacing here. So this is our feathers uh, two branches. So this means that we are going to remove uh, the branch from the back. So when we remove the plant from the back, we ensure that we keep uh, at least one fruit from, from the plant. So if you look at the plant, it has a flower here. So we are going to keep this flower and try to keep some leaves for it so that it can actually get its phot photosynthetic energy. Uh, so from here, as you can see, we have two growing points here. As I said that wherever the fruit grows, uh, the tree branches, you can see we have two branches here. So we remove both of these branches. And then we keep uh, the growing flower and the leaf so the leaf will be a source of energy closest to the growing flower if you want for this first one you can also remove it directly from the start and actually just leave these two that are growing from this side from here so with this side also we need to also maintain just two growing points on either side so as you can see for this one we have a flower and then we have a branching off uh, of the two stalks. So we are going to look at one of the two stalks and, de and decide which one to keep between this one and this one. So if we decide to keep this one, then we come to this one and then we actually keep the flower here and then we remove everything that is a growing point here. So we'll take out this part and take out this part and then we'll be left with the leaf and the flower. And now this is our main growing point for this entire branch so we are going to continue doing this pruning as the flower, flower con uh, the plant continues to grow and then on this side also as you can see where we have a flower here we have two branches so now we also have to prune these two branches and leave one. Now whichever branch we decide to leave this side must be furthest apart from this as possible. So as you can see this one and this one are closer. So it means this is the one that we have to remove so that this and two have the maximum possible distance between them. And now while trying to kill this entire branch it means we have to keep uh, this flower here. So we remove the two growing points and then we have our leaf and our flower. So this is our only two branches that are still growing now these ones are going to branch for every point that they make a flower so we will have to continue removing all those points that are branching from each one of these two branches so we in the end we are only left with two growing points that will continue to grow and then we prune any other sides that appear from them cheers